to my kitchen. I went to Trader Joe's today for my first real time there. I've only ever gone once before and that was to pick up some of their sriracha sauce that I ran out to go to a movie. But today I was able to take my sweet sweet time and browse through the store and see all the goodies they had. So I picked up a little haul and I figured that I would share it with you because I love watching other people's grocery hauls, things they buy, things they like to eat. So if you want to see what I picked out today, just keep watching. Here's what my mother would lovingly call her newspaper because growing up after she would do the grocery shopping for our family, her receipt would be oh so long. For this haul, I spent $148.50 and I got a total of, let's see how many items does it tell us? I got 33 items, so not too, too bad. Let's see what I picked out. I'm gonna start with the sort of colder things first so I can put them away faster. First thing I got was this goat cheese. This has herbs on top of it. They had plain goat cheese, they had one with honey, but this one just spoke to me. I love goat cheese. It's probably my favorite cheese and I'm planning on doing a charcuterie board sometime this month following the cheese theme. I got some halloumi cheese. This is what it looks like. I probably won't be serving this on my cheese board. I like to have this sometimes for breakfast and you just slice it and then pan fry it until it gets nice and golden brown and it's oh so if you've never had this cheese, you need to go out and get it now. It is life-changing. Elliot is eating. He loves eating when I make videos in the kitchen. It's his contribution to the video. Maybe he's trying to do some nice A. SMR eating sounds for you. Now, before I went to Trader Joe's, I actually made a post on my Facebook asking everyone who follows me on there what their favorite things were, what to look for, what to avoid, and a lot of people hyped up their frozen food section. I don't typically eat a lot of frozen food, but I wanted to be adventurous and their selections did look very tempting, so I sort of made their frozen food section my bitch. The first thing I saw were these vegetable spring rolls. I really like dim sum Asian appetizers and I don't want to make them though. I feel like it would be pretty tedious and I don't know. I figured this would just be easier. These are vegan and I like to put any frozen food in my air fryer 
I am an air fryer believer. I have an instant pot that, to me, it's okay, but I tear up the air fryer. I know people say an air fryer is just like a mini, is it convection oven? I don't know, but I think it does a fantabulous job of crisping up foods and it's super hot down here so I love that it doesn't heat up my whole kitchen like my oven does. Then I also got these steamed pork and ginger soup dumplings. I love soup dumplings. I probably am not going to put these in the air fryer though. These I'm just going to pan steam easy peasy. I'll let you guys know how these turn out. From what I've heard though, their soup dumplings are pretty good. Even a lady at the store as I was reaching to get them, she told me how good they were. Something I noticed about Trader Joe's, and I'm not sure if it was just this location, but everyone was really friendly there. I really like that. After the soup dumplings, I had to pick up some chicken shoe mai. Again, the frozen section, everything looked so good. I wanted to get all of it, um, but my wallet would have hated me, so I had to have the tiniest bit of self-control. I love any dumpling, so I have a good feeling that I'll enjoy these. If there's anything that you like getting at Trader Joe's, please tell me. I am a newbie there and always looking for fun suggestions of what to try, what to eat. Now, this next one, it might ruffle some feathers. I got some whole milk. I I do still like milk from a cow, I know, womp, womp, womp. I do also like nut milks, oat milk, but sometimes you just want that whole milk taste, that creaminess. Whole milk is just, I don't know, I like it in my mac and cheese more. It's more umptuous. Um, and besides that, I already have a little half gallon of almond milk in my fridge, so I decided to get some whole milk. Keeping with the dairy theme for my cheese board, that's to come later in the month, I got these marinated fresh mozzarella balls. And it looks like they're just in some oil and some herbs. Let's see if it'll tell me what the herbs are. Okay, it's in vinegar, salt, and it just says seasonings and spices. They're not giving up that recipe. I love cheese. Oh my gosh. Growing up, this is weird, I hated cheese and I hated olives but now as a full-fledged adult I love cheese and olives so if there's something out there that for years and years you convinced yourself that you didn't like try it again your taste buds may have changed then I also got some butter I got the unsalted, 
I usually get salted butter, but I might do some baking recipes and I wanted to be able to control the salt level then I had to get these because someone told me they were addictive they said make sure that you get the milk chocolate peanut butter cups Trader Joe's version of a Reese's cup this is going to be deadly for me I probably shouldn't have got it but I'm going to try to control myself just, you know, have a couple as a treat and not run through the whole thing in like two nights but peanut butter, chocolate it's a divine combination you can't go wrong with that one thing I did notice about Trader Joe's is that their meat is just way too expensive so I didn't get too much meat I'm gonna leave my meat purchasing for more affordable places like they had a marinated chicken and I shit you not, that one chicken was $20 are you out of your fucking mind? I'm not paying $20 for one chicken so I only got a couple of things try to stay within the budget I did get these shawarma chicken thighs they come deboned and marinated I had to get these because a viewer of mine told me how good they were it was like the one real meat meat purchase I got like raw meat <laughs> but to me, this is not a bargain. Like, I don't know where you buy chicken thighs. But for this pack, this was $6.99 a pound for chicken thighs. I can get like a whole bag of leg quarters from Walmart for like super cheap. And it'll be a big ass bag. But I'm treating myself. I'm gonna whip these up one night and hopefully it's worth it. Next, I got these spicy Italian chicken sausages. Their sausages were decently priced. Their preserved meats are fine. The prices are good, whatever. It's really just the raw meats that I noticed were up there but these looked scrumptious I love sausages and I'm not sure how I'm gonna eat these yet um, I might put them perhaps in a pasta sauce or I honestly just like to broil them get the outside nice and crispy and I'll just eat it with some salad Next in our preserved meat journey, I got some smoked Atlantic salmon. I love smoked salmon. It's my favorite, I think salmon in general. This is my favorite fish. I like to put this on bagels. I don't have bagels right now, but a salad. Sometimes I make a really good dip. It's good with cucumbers. Just wrap it around a cucumber and bite. Speaking of cucumbers, I got this bag of cocktail cucumbers. They're nice and small. I love cucumbers. They're very healthy, refreshing, and I love their crunch. I'll probably eat these with some dips, the smoked salmon, or I just like to have them cut up plain or with some salt and 
It wouldn't be a grocery trip without getting eggs. I like eggs. And I got 12 large eggs. I like to eat my eggs scrambled. I like them poached, sunny side up, fried. The only way I do not like eggs is if they're boiled. I'm not a picky person at all, but something about a boiled egg disturbs me and I just can't get past the smell. I also picked up some butternut squash ravioli. It felt very seasonal to me. I don't know exactly how I'm going to cook this up. I'm thinking of keeping it pretty simple. Maybe I'll do a brown butter sauce and then top it with some parmesan. Then I got some sliced meats. Let's see what's in here. We have uncured Calabrese salami. I think that's how you say that. Del Duca prosciutto. An uncured capicolo. I'm sorry if I butchered any of that. I love little sliced meats like these. Just snacking on them. I can almost get carried away sometimes. I know someone out there will yell at me for this, but the vet said it's fine. Every blue moon, I give Elliot the tiniest, tiniest piece of prosciutto because it's his like favorite thing ever. No other food do I open and he just meows and won't leave me alone except prosciutto. And so one day I googled, can you give your cat a little prosciutto? And it said yes. And so I did. And he loved it. He's a fancy cat. Next, I picked up this gnocchi and it's the cacio e pepe sauce. Um, which I've never had. It says it's a rich, creamy sauce with provolone and Romano cheeses and whole black peppercorns. I really like gnocchi. I've never made it, um, to be honest. I'm a bit too intimidated to try to make it or really any type of fresh pasta. So I always get the shortcuts. Another find from the freezer section. I tore that freezer section up is the Thai shrimp gyoza. Again, things that I just am too scared to make and I heard they were good. I would say Trader Joe's it's a good supplemental grocery store. I don't think it's somewhere you would go to get everything that you need, but it's really good for specialty items. I also picked up this super firm tofu. I love tofu. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with this block. I will either do like a tofu scramble, it sort of mimics eggs, or I'll just season it up and throw it in the air fryer, something like that. I love tofu. I know some people don't, but to me, unless you don't like its texture, it really has a very, how do I say this politely? Yeah, it has a bland flavor. So tofu just tastes like whatever you put on it. So just put 
stuff you like on it. Duh. This next one I picked up from the prepared foods section. This is the garlic spread dip. If you watched my last video, I talked about my affinity for garlic. I'm a garlic gal. I think this will just be good on damn near everything that's savory. I'm guessing, and it's because I haven't had it before, but I'm guessing it'll taste like tum, T-O-U-M. It's like an Arabic garlic spread. I've never made it. My mom makes a really good one. So we'll see how this matches up to mom's. And from the same prepared food section, I got this Mediterranean style orzo pasta salad. It has spinach, sun-dried tomatoes, feta, all sorts of yummy ingredients. Now, I could have probably easily made this. I've made something very similar before. But we all like convenience and this will be easy and ready to eat whenever I feel like it. I picked this next product up to put some spice into my life. This is the Crunchy Chili Onion and it's in olive oil with dried garlic and peppers. You can see the bottom here where all the spices and things have settled. I'll mix it up when I go to eat this. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this just yet. I picked up this cantaloupe. How do you like my melons? And I'm either just going to eat this plain or I'm going to wrap some prosciutto around it. I really, really love doing that. Prosciutto and melon is just a great combination. So, so good. The salty and the sweet work really well. And I love cantaloupe. I feel like cantaloupe and honeydew are really underrated fruits. Appreciate your melons. Then I got these shishito peppers. I love shishito peppers. I get them a lot of the times when I go to sushi restaurants. I actually prefer these so much more than edamame. Edamame to me don't get me wrong, it's good, it has its place, but these just have more flavor to me. I'll probably char these up and just have them with a little sauce on the side. Some more peppers. These are the sweet picante peppers and they're submerged in oil and they're filled with a creamy cheese filling. Fun fact about me, I hate the word creamy, but these did sound really good. I've had the Aldi version of this, so unless something just went terribly wrong, I know that I'll like these. Let's have a crunchy moment. I got these cassava chips. I've had cassava chips before and I really like them. I'm not sure how these are gonna go, but generally I like the crunch. And from what I've noticed from other brands, again, I don't know about this they don't seem to over salt them either. I got these as a little crunchy snack. Another crunchy moment here. I got the oven baked 
cheese bites. I'm a cheesy woman. These looked like the wisps, which I'm a big fan of. If I get a bag of wisps up in my house, uh, they don't stand a chance. So on the ingredients, it just says semi-aged cheese. I thought maybe they would be Parmesan or something, but I'm going to like these. I mean, it's a crispy, crunchy cheese snack. I think everyone would like that. These next few groceries that I'll be showing you, I'm really going to be bearing my soul to you, being very raw and real because some people who know me in real life, they sort of kind of make fun of me for eating these things. They say it's very boomer of me, very old lady, but you know what? Old people, they know what's up, they know their shit, and they have a good taste, so I'm cool with that. I got some tinned slash canned seafood. Now, I know that eating seafood in a can, to some people, it's a bit off-putting. But I'm telling you, once you try it, you'll be hooked. And one of my favorite things to eat are sardines. They're fairly affordable, they're healthy, they're rich in iron, and on top of it all, they're super delicious. I honestly love having these just straight out the tin with some lemon juice, hot sauce, maybe some onion if I'm feeling frisky, or you can eat it over salads with some crackers. Continuing with our tinned seafood theme, I picked up these smoked trout fillets, skinless in canola oil. I have not had this yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. If you have any suggestions, let me know. But as of right now, hmm, I'm leaning towards perhaps making a dip with it. I think that would be really good. Rounding out our seafood trio, I got smoked oysters hand-packed in olive oil. Now I know oysters, fresh, are not for everyone, so of course this wouldn't be for everyone. I'm thinking of just eating this with maybe some cream cheese and hot sauce, maybe with some cucumbers or on a cracker, something like that. If you have had smoked oysters, tell me how you like eating yours. As I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm a big fan of olives, so of course I had to get some, and the first one I picked out were these jumbo pitted Greek Kalamata olives. Kalamata olives, to me, they taste sort of meaty, more fruity than green olives. They're less sour, but they still have a nice bite. I love these in salads, but I also just like to stick my little grimy hands in them and pop one or 18 in my mouth as a snack. Got the Kalamata, so I had to get some Italian green olives as well. The green olives are more sour, more tart. They're not as meaty tasting. I know that's a weird way to describe it. 
if I had to compare the Kalamata olive texture to something, it would be like a cooked mushroom. Whereas this one, it keeps a more firm texture. As with the Kalamata olives, these are also good in dishes, but more than likely, I will just end up snacking on these as they are. Our final item of this grocery haul, we're gonna end it on a sweet note, is this Speculoos <laughs> Cookie Butter Spread. This, I already know, is dangerous. I've had cookie butter before, and it's so, so good. It's exactly what it sounds like. You know how they make peanut butter? They just grind up peanuts with oil and all sorts of stuff. Well, this is like that, but instead of peanuts, they grind up cookies. And you could spread this on things, I'm sure. How I like to eat this is in its pure form. I just take a spoon, dunk it in, and go to town. It's very rich and delicious. It's not a light dessert by any means, but I like getting it from time to time. It's never bad to treat yourself, and I really like it because I don't know if it makes sense, but it tastes very holiday-esque. Makes you feel warm and cozy from the inside. And one thing I'm shocked about is the quality of this jar. Most cookie butters I've had have come in plastic, but Trader Joe's out here is showing up with their glass jar. Well guys, we've reached the end of this Trader Joe's grocery haul. I hope that you got to relax and enjoyed seeing what I purchased today. Let me know all of your favorite Trader Joe's items or even things to avoid. I love you all so, so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.